The roofing niche is more saturated than ever before, and that's a good thing. I'll explain why in this video. Someone commented on one of my videos recently saying, hey Michael, nice new setup by the way. The roofing niche for SMMA is more saturated than before. Are there regions in Canada and the USA to avoid? I'm from Quebec, Canada, end quote. So this SMMA owner is asking if roofing is still even a good niche. I mean, it's so saturated, so isn't it better to go after something with way less competition? Also, even if you get roofing clients, isn't it so saturated now that getting them good results will be super challenging? Those are great questions. And intuitively, it seems like the answers are obvious. But let's start with whether the roofing niche is even a good niche to master. I mean, shouldn't a new SMMA owner looking to make lots of money go after clients in a way less saturated market? Well, here's the thing. There's a reason there's so much saturation. And the reason is because there's so much demand. Nearly all contractors wish they were roofers. For instance, I talk to contractors all the time on the phone who are interested in using my services to generate roofing leads for their business. And many of them aren't even roofers yet. They're often interior remodelers and other things, for instance. So then why do they want to become roofers? Because of cash flow. Roofing is a super attractive service to offer homeowners because unlike interior remodeling or siding installation or window replacements, just to name a few, roofing usually takes a day or two to complete. In other words, the contractors get paid really fast. They can sell a job and make thousands of dollars in profit in a fraction of the amount of time as compared to, let's say, remodeling someone's kitchen. Plus, and this is a big one, when a contractor replaces a roof, he doesn't have the homeowner nitpicking all of the work. Think about it. When a contractor finishes remodeling a kitchen, the homeowner walks through and usually identifies dozens of little things they want touched up, made better, and changed. It's called a punch list, and contractors hate punch lists. It means they have to do more work, and it often kills their margins, takes their crews away from other jobs, and results in headaches for everyone involved. But with roofing, that just doesn't happen, because basically zero homeowners go up on their own roofs after the roof is installed to check things out. The job is completed, the contractor's crew cleans up, and boom, done. They invoice the homeowner for the balance, and they move on to the next job. So what does this mean for you, the SMMA owner, wondering if roofing is a good niche to focus on? It means there's actually an increasing number of people who want and need your services. And yeah, there are lots and lots of SMMA owners who you might be competing against to get their business, but if you do things right, it's a good thing. One of the things I hear all the time on sales calls with roofers is that after talking to so many other SMMA owners, they want to work with me because of the ways in which I'm able to explain things. Finally, they are able to understand what all this marketing stuff is about. So learn how to talk about what you do and you'll stick out like a sore thumb in a good way. You'll be the clear winner and they will want to hire you. Now, if you're wondering how to talk about your services in a way that makes potential clients regard you as the clear winner, binge my channel content, even the older videos that are geared toward roofers. Because the more you learn about being a roofer, the better you'll be at communicating with them and earning their trust. Now, let's answer the other question. If the market is so saturated, if so many roofers are running ads in a given location, isn't it going to be hard to get good results for your roofing clients? It certainly seems like it would be. But here's the thing. Most SMMA owners suck at running roofing ads. They don't know what they're doing. 
They're being told to run shady offers by gurus online who either don't have a clue or don't understand the power of honesty and transparency, and instead teach that you should trick people to get leads. I touch on this and provide examples of these shady ads in other videos on my channel. So if so many people are running sketchy ads to get leads, what this means is that you have an opportunity to create advertising that cuts through the junk everyone else is putting out there. The result is that the homeowners will be attracted to the ads you're running for your roofing clients and repelled by the ones others are running for their roofing clients. How do you learn to do that? Binge my channel content, including the older videos that are geared toward roofers. The more you learn about the industry as a whole, the better. But you need to make sure you're learning stuff that's based on honesty, transparency, and reality. If you like this content, subscribe to my channel now so you are alerted of new videos when I publish them. Also, get on my newsletter by clicking the link in the description and I'll even send you an invite to a private Facebook group where we can all learn from one another and where you can get your questions answered by me. That's it, guys. See you in the next video.